so welcome guys to another video my name is Daniel and recently I switched from the Sunto core I actually all have to own two of those and I've been using uh, GPS from Garmin before to plan my uh, trips and I have also the spot connect tree but recently I kind of switch and sold most of that uh, devices and I got the second handed Garmin Finic Plus not Sapphire and the Inreach Mini and the app that I normally use now uh, either I use something that is called Norig um, Scart Norges uh, Map or I use all trails and um, all trails uh, is um, a very very fancy uh, place I have my profile here you can actually look for my and follow me if you want that uh, but all trails I uh, have a pro you need a subscription to be pro and what you can do with that is that you can actually print uh, the maps in a physical uh, state and that's a very important thing to do actually because I see many people that don't use maps at all they only just rely on the phone or watch and that's a bad idea so I would really recommend that you print the map for your uh, trail on all trails and it's easy for many people to do that okay uh, so I'm going to show you a couple of things how to use the InReach uh, wa watch and all trails together. So in this case, I just uh, picked a random trail that I found here, the big palm trail. I can I can try another one as well, just to ju just show you how how to do it. You can get. Uh, yeah, for example, there's the Big Bomb Trail and there is another trail. This is kind of the cool thing about um, all trails. Uh, other people kind of post uh, the trail. So I'm going to just, uh, you can create your own trails or you can just pick one of those and say, ah, well, I want to do that trip. So uh, just pick one. I'm going to try this one just so you can see how I plan things. So I picked the trail, uh, in this case I just press it there, there we go, there is the trail and it has some uh, info there and I, th I, th and I think oh, okay, you can see the weather, you can see uh, many things, you can see some photos and what people like about the trail and you can see the elevation. Um, uh, hill elevators. So this is this is a very good uh, tool to use. Um, so I think, okay, I'm gonna keep this trail, and I'm gonna print it as well on paper, and I'm gonna to use it on my map uh, on my watch as well. So the way to do this is that you have to pull put the cable on your phone, on your PC, and you synchronize it and this kind of the synchronizer thing kind of fails sometimes especially on, on my pc and then you have to have um garmin uh, express software so in this case you can see the watch is not synchronized and sometimes it just need you need to just need to kind of wait for it <laughs> Uh, so this kind of sucks. This is the only con I have about Garmin. Let me see if it uh, reacts here anytime soon. I don't know if it is because it's all or whatever, but uh, normally I don't have that problem with the in reach here. Well, anyway, while, while that's um, waiting. We're going to go to the trail and click on more. Then you have to, in order to print it on a map, you need to be a pro, have a pro subscription on the alltrails.com. 
So go to more and then you can go to download route and you get a lot of options here. I normally just pick the first one, GP extract download. And then I'm just gonna put that on the on the on the desktop. So now I have uh, downloaded it and I have it here. There we go. And then we need to wait for the watch to go. I don't know why sometimes it might be the side you put this cable on. See, there we go. I think it reacted now. Let's open this. And sometimes, there we go. Now it's green. Okay, so let's open that. And there, uh, when it's green, it's good. When it's red, it's not good. You go to Garmin Connect, and this is kind of the software that the app uses. And this is also, Garmin Connect, you can also open. Uh, it basically opens the browser uh, with all the stats and stuff. On the left side, uh, this is Norwegian, but if you can see the stopwatch icon, under training, I believe you go to tracks. I believe it's called Leuper in Norwegian, and there we see 15 tracks you have stored on your connect, not on your watch, on your connect. And then you have to go down here, import, but not up here because this, uh, this is also import, but that didn't work and I also report that to Garmin. If you import that way, it's not going to work. You have to import that way down here. Import. And then you go and pick the uh, the trail, the GPX that we just download from all trails. You click next. And then you choose what kind of activity that's going to be. In this case is trail running for example next and then you have it the track that you have from all trails now on Garmin connect and then uh, here it says no name you have to give the uh, track a name so you go edit and you press example trail so it's easier to, for you to find. And then you press save. And now you have saved it in the name. And now in order to send it to the um, watch, you need to press send to unit. And this case is Phoenix 5 plus, yes. And this again sometimes fails, some other times not, but, but when it's green, it's good. So uh, basically now on your, let me see, on your watch, let me see, I'm just gonna, on your watch, if you take this out now, and you go into this menu, that is, is a bit, hard to see perhaps but um, let me see it's let me see if I can get a good picture here so it's the 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 arrow uh, file there there and there we go the okay I got a notification my wife here and then you get the different activities I know it's a bit hard to see but and then you press down from the activities to where it says navigation it's there navigation and then you press the arrow again and then you go to tracks it's Leuper in Norwegian and then 
you see the example trail there and you press it there and it uh, loads in the whole track on your watch that's pretty cool and the cool thing about this uh, Garmin uh, Phoenix watch that you can get pretty e cheap second handed now is that you have the maps and you get a pretty uh, detailed maps on and fast maps on your watch and what I like a bit more about the uh, Garmin compared to the old Sunto core that I had before that old LCD watch is that you can get a lot of stats that you can uh, see when you came, come at work and then you can also this watch also keeps you like you count your steps for the day and keep you moving so uh, I think you have the same thing with the Sunto the normal and it's a, perhaps a bit cheaper watch than the Garmin uh, but I find it really cool and very pr pretty innovative to to be using and um, the the watch the Phoenix plus 5 battery is not so bad actually it's 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 good um, so good but I would really recommend that you get the sapphire version because I, I already have a couple of scratches that I made myself and I, I, I couldn't think about that because I didn't have the problem with the old Sunto watch that I had before. Uh, so I really recommend to use the Sapphire if you're going to um, um, uh, buy that. Uh, so the other thing is uh, about that is cool. I the, And the reason I, I switched from the uh, Spot Connect to the in which mini is mostly because of the size of this and it's two-way communication compared to the all spot connect that I had before you can also check the weather and in my last expedition that was a thing I couldn't uh, see but I I'm going to be able to do that with the in which mini and now uh, I got this first and then I got this before and I think mm, perhaps this should work good because they are made of the same company. So the benefits of using the Enrich Mini and the Garmin Phoenix is normally you put this on your pack and you kind of just leave it on and it works there. Now many people uh, use it with the phone and that works very w well, especially when you are writing messages back to your family or stuff. You can use the Enrich Mini on your phone to do that. And this practically works the same way, but it kind of notificates a bit better to the watch than your phone. And what I found very useful uh, with the watch is when you have this on your backpack, it's this is a thing that you probably gonna bring with you all the time, your watch. And sometimes uh, when accident happen is when you are away from your backpack. So uh, it's a good thing to actually have uh, perhaps you are going to do your business um, toilet stuff like 200 feet away from your backpack but having the watch kind of give you the extra protection because you will notify and vibrate the watch uh, the enrich mini will do that when it gets just out of reach because uh, and that's a good thing because if some ha uh, accident gonna happen and you get you are inside which you can actually use the watch to call for SOS through the in reach that's in your backpack and you know when you are going to do the cheat kit and perhaps you don't think about it I'm gonna take the uh, the cheat kit and perhaps you get some kind of a problem then 
it will notify all, all you are about to have outside the limits area of the enrich connection. And that's a good thing. That's a good pro, uh, pro thing to have. And I kind of find it easier to watch the notification that I get from here uh, or the phone because I get uh, the, both the phone and in reach at the same time. So you, it works very well because these two things is normally packed on my pack. And normally I just watch, I get a notification that like I just did with my wife and see, oh, okay, I just, I don't pick the phone. It's, it's a good thing to don't pick the phone because you then you get distracted with all the things that you have on your phone. So it's better actually to just have the watch and be able to block apps if you are not uh, able. So I find it very, very good. Uh, it works perfectly. It's in my favorite color, <laughs> blaze orange. Um, uh, I find it very good. The only thing is though the, the um, uh, synchronization with the watch and the PCs doesn't seem to be uh, very stable. But we really recommend this um, this um, piece of equipment for the outdoors. Uh, there are many things you can do with the watch that is uh, is pretty cool in my opinion. So it's it's actually worth it. Uh, battery life it's okay. It's it's better than I I thought it was. Uh, I think it's better with the Phoenix Six. Um, the Enrich Mini battery is not very good as well, but it, it's so it's very it's, it's good enough. Is uh, I can deal with it. Um, and yeah, just get the Sapphire version because uh, you're gonna get scratches on to it, and I already have like two or three scratches. So, so um, I hope you like this video, guys. I'm finding it interesting. Uh, I don't think uh, this has been covered before, so I might be the first one. And if you like these outdoors videos from me, just keep the subscription and press like and see you soon. Bye.